I am so disgusted by the state of politics in the United States of America right now. And, and I've been disgusted, so. Mm. We have to ask ourselves, does Mark Robinson do in North Carolina? I mean, how? Okay? How? How does this man even get in office in the first place, number one? Number two, ain't nobody know about none of this stuff? Yeah, they surely did, okay? First year campaigns would have did out research on him and shown that he had the history out there that he had. And so now they running it all across the news. Everyone on his campaign quit today. What? For real? Who gives a shit? They knew they quitting because what? They don't have to be associated with the loser now, okay? Just like the people working for Trump, just like all these people getting behind Trump, they know. They know. They not like us. <laughs> okay, Kendra. They not like us. They know. They know. Because they did the research. And then you think about it. Now, I'm going to say one person who probably didn't know was Trump because his people are fucking retarded. Okay? He didn't, they didn't know about his shit. And they don't care because he got money. This black deplorable man said he want to bring slavery back so he can buy a few. <laughs> the shit would be funny if it wasn't so pathetic. I mean, you have to ask yourself as a black man, how do you stand up and look in the mirror? How does Clarence Thomas sexually harassing that black woman? How does O'Fay down there in South Carolina, the Senate, what's that boy name? I don't even fucking know because I already did video about him. They sycophants. They all sycophants. But you got to ask yourself, this is not about politics. This is about money. This is about the Joneses, wanting to be like the Joneses. You know what I'm saying? You know, the Joneses got a new car today. Here's what you should say. Hooray for the Joneses. But no. These politicians are not concerned about us. They're not concerned about the United States of America. They're not concerned about our issues. They're not concerned about the children. They're not concerned about abortions. They're not concerned about people dying. They're not concerned about the border, the border wall. They're not concerned about energy. They're not concerned about fracking. They're not concerned about the environment. They're not concerned about global warming. They're not concerned about shit, but trying to get a Maserati like Senator Joe Manchin got. Trying to get a mansion with a house on the beach or something. You know what I mean? They don't give a shit. They're using politics for a come up. Donald Trump care more about the Trump brand than he care about that fucking flag. <laughs> anyway. The point is this. My dad told me. That when they came back from World War II, he kissed the ground. This black man, this black American who got three brown stars, fought all over the Pacific, and was sitting on a ship waiting to invade mainland Japan when they dropped the bomb was ready to him and two of his brothers, so three 
my dad and two of his brothers. And I'm talking, they was over there for the whole four fucking years. It wasn't like, oh, I got shot, rotate out. No, <laughs> put a Band-Aid on that bitch, let's go. <laughs> okay, this black man, he did this for me. He did this for my brothers and sisters. He did this for the fucking country. But he did out of ulterior motive. Because he's from Alabama. And when he did go home with his medals and everything, you know what? Then white people's like, nigger this, nigger that. And then people like, you know. But he did it anyway. Just like millions and millions of other black people before and after him. Because no matter what, we are Americans. No matter what nobody try to say, no matter what nobody try to do, we, all of us, are Americans. And this is our house. And you don't let nobody come into your house and fuck with your shit. Donald Trump and these sicky fits keep oh that oh what's that dude name whoever over there hungry and Putin and all the rest if you don't shut your ass up you make sure you take care of your family and in the United States of America we are family and it's time we start acting like it because this has been The political sycophancy has to stop. We know Donald Trump don't give a fuck. All he cares about is money. But in each and every state, in each and every community, vet these fools for you vote for them. As a matter of fact, make them take a fucking civics test. Okay? Because some of these people is just stupid. Ain't no other word for it. They're just stupid. And you keep electing them again and again and again and again. And this is what you get. This is what you get. An alleged pastor slash pornographic slash everybody know this ish is going on slash I'm a black man. And the way I think I'm going to come up is to hate on black people because I have no self Love, I'm full of self-hate. If you're full of self-hate, take your ass somewhere and get some therapy, okay? Don't nobody need you in the room. Don't nobody want you in the room. Fuck you, okay? Because that's the way I feel about Clarence Thomas, him, and that other little Jim Crow loving ass, whatever the hell, the one down there in South Carolina. I mean, self-hate? How you gonna be a, a, a black man and, and I'm gonna buy me some slaves? <laughs> oh, Lord, I'm sorry. Ooh, the stuff to be wanting to come out of my mouth and all right. I mean, you know, the cuss words is just a tip of the iceberg around here, okay? Because I say what I really want to say. FBI might be knocking on my door. I'd be like, Queen, get him. Get them, queen. Don't let them take your mama. <laughs> I'm just saying. That's right. That's my girl. That's my dog. That's my dog. That's my rolly. My rolly. That's my rolly. She like, don't be copying this out. I'll bite your ass fucking with my mama. <laughs> this has been Deliberations with Song and me and Queen here. Got to get on and get us some food. You know, but I, I mean, I just couldn't let that shit go. Couldn't let that shit go. Yeah. Come on, Queen. You ate already.